Aleluya. <laughs> welcome to Welcome to Expect good things from God. This is Reverend Idika A. E. Mary bringing you this broadcast of Expect Good Things with God all the way in the United States of America. This is the Dika A. E. Mary's Ministries. And um, today we will be sharing with you some vital truth that you need to know about. Hallelujah. Um, we've been talking about some of the outcome. What happened when we begin to enjoy the life of glory right here on earth? When we begin to enjoy the life of living in an open presence of God. Today I will be sharing you one of the product, one of the outcome of it. And one of the outcome of it is you will escape from mental and psychological sicknesses. The world is full of people who have mental problems, psychological problems. And I call them sickness, and surely they are. It's always something that I can't even begin to think about. When I used to live in Africa, I used to see people with neuropsychiatric condition roaming the street nude, living by the side of the street, boiling rats, picking thrown away food. Society has not yet been able to take care of those of their types that have lost their ability of normalcy. I still feel pain. Hmm. You ask, why do people have all these problems? They have these problems because of so much pains. There is so much pain in the life of human beings. Some of our pains are blown out there and we cannot control it. So we have mental and psychological difficulties and we can't function. Confusion, anxiety, worry, piles upon piles of depression, strays of life, disappointments. They are all here in this age waiting for you. <laughs> and how are you? It is, I mean, it's not about that. If you have money, you will escape from mental and psychological warfare. That's not true. It will come to you. But if you have this vital, sophisticated, strong, qualitative, relationship, companionship with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah! You will escape from psychological and mental sickness. Because you are His temple, so He dwells in you. What breaks other people down will not break you down. Instead of going through grief, the Holy Spirit will bubble in you the spirit of joy. 
Let me tell you what happened this morning. I, I went straight to go and, and start boiling tea this morning. And suddenly out of me erupted prayers. Big heavy prayers in the spirit. Both in tongues and both in my language. In my native language. And both in English. And I began to bless the Lord. I began to decree that the day is going to be. It was the Holy Spirit bubbling inside me, imploding and exploding, letting it out there. And the atmosphere obeyed. And I felt good. How are you going to handle the things, the worries of this life without him? And not end up in a neuropsychiatric world, in a hospital. And become a mockery of society anyway. And become news for those who were waiting for your downfall. Hmm. 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 For those of us who come from Africa, I'm talking to you now, you men and women from Africa who migrated to England, to Europe, and to the United States and Canada, I'm talking to you. You work so hard because you need a green back, you need a pound sterling, you need a Canadian dollar, you need the American dollars. You work so hard. You don't have time for family. I've been there. You want to approve of your existence here. You want to be the normal immigrant. Sooner or later, your family back home in Africa looking up to you. They deceive you to bring money. Some of the things they tell you are true. And they forgot that you just left home yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> one of my sisters told me that she was going for a surgery I said wait I turned the phone off called my senior sister Victoria in AK and I said is, is Grace going for surgery she said no <laughs> you see they think you're making so much money there, they do not know the stress of what you go through to live in the foreign country. And you want to support everybody. You want to prove that you live outside, uh, you know, outside Nigeria, outside South Africa, outside Ghana, outside Kenya, outside this and that. You want to build this house? You want to build that house? Look at the age span of African people. Back in Africa and back here. 70, 80, they are gone. We walk, have no time for fun, no time to even visit the doctor to check, to check us up and know what's wrong with us, where we need improvement. So when a little sickness comes, we're gone. We break down easily. We eat, 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 grow big. I don't say you shouldn't grow big, but there are some growing big that is not fair on the human body. And we want to support this, support that, support, give money here to work two, three, four, five, six job. At the end, we drop dead. All the houses we build back home, all that fight over it and live in them. That's true. We are carrying too much load. It's about time that we learn our lesson. We begin to go to God so that we know when to say no and when to say yes. We have to be free from psychological and mental warfare that has been put on us by families, by friends, by society, and by the enemy of God. We have to begin to be prayer warriors who go to God. And when we pray, the Almighty will respond. And God is waiting for you in prayer. He's waiting for you. 
If you go to him, he will do something about you. He will do something about your case. And I am here to say to you, God will deliver you. He will give him a chance. Amen.